Hi everyone, so this is just a very quick video to show another 3D printed model that I've created to try and help with uh, some issue that I'd spotted on uh, some of my images. So using the Dew Shield uh, on the 11 inch uh, Rasa and on the 11 inch Edge HD, I noticed that one of my Dew Shields was uh, sitting more uh, elliptical rather than circular uh, at the front end of the uh, telescope, uh, despite having obviously the the dew shield round the, the cylinder of the OTA at the open end it took on this uh, elliptical shape which was casting a shadow on a couple of the sides uh, of some of the subframes so uh, what I did is I went to Tinkercad measured up uh, obviously off the front end of the telescope and I created this uh, ring which I 3D printed on my large floor, floor standing uh, Anycubic Predator printer and uh, you can see here on the, on the design, uh, I've left this open cutout, uh, which is to account for where the dew shield wraps around and the Velcro uh, overlaps and holds it together. It's obviously a lot thicker. And then on the inner edge of the, uh, the scope, uh, sorry, of the, the model, I've left this lip all the way around, which the dew shield uh, can slide into. And then I just made some of these cutouts all the way around on the inner ring uh, just to reduce some of the, the 3D mass and uh, reduce some of the printing time. So it's quite a straightforward model. I don't know if it'll work yet, but certainly it looks a lot better sitting on the dew shield. Uh, so let's uh, head out to uh, the telescope in the dome and I'll show you that uh, in place. All right, so here we are out in the dome. And as you can see, this is on the RASA 11. I've got the uh, shape retention ring clipped to the front of the uh, the dew shield and it's holding a nice circular shape because what was happening here is my other dew shield for the edge 11 and it was you know instead of being a nice circular shape it was very slightly squashed in which was casting a shadow uh, on the narrow edge uh, of the scope now I don't know why uh, it doesn't hold its shape uh, whether it's just the, the its own mass that's just pulling on it uh, and as you can see they are very flexible and uh, for whatever reasons uh, it just wouldn't hold a, a circular shape at the front end. Now whether it's been slightly bent in transit or it's the way it's been rolled up at the factory I don't know. And I had previously put a, a bungee cord uh, around it uh, to try and, and hold its shape but uh, you know that obviously pulled as well in certain directions so I decided to go with a, a fixed uh, solid piece. Uh, just to uh, try and help keep that shape and you can see it just clips in nicely with the reduce shield slotting into the slot that I made and then there's this, this open gap here for where the thick bit is where the uh, legs here where the velcro overlaps and creates a much thicker uh, part in the model so that's all I have hopefully that'll help I'm going to go and print another one uh, for the other dew shield and uh, hopefully that'll help bring some further improvements to some of the subs I'll leave a, a link to the model uh, in the description uh, should you want to have a look at it and see how it's been built. Uh, other than that, thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one.